Hello, magical makers. I am Nicole of Woven Tales Designs. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm bringing to you another magical maker roundup. In today's magical maker roundup, we are getting into seven magical frog patterns that will absolutely make you want to get into a frog fever. They are so cute from varying many different styles of amigurumi, many different difficulty types, many different yarn styles, aesthetic styles, you name it. I have seven of my top favorite frog patterns that I found today in the modern crochet community and I hope you're excited for it. Before we hop right in, I do want to say this is a community over competition style video. This is just for me to share with you some fun patterns that I have found in today that would work great for your stash busting projects, work great for your crojo boosting, anything like that. This is not a video where I am rating any of these patterns. I'm just giving you basic facts and all the magical details that you would like to know. I did reach out to all of these designers and I have their permission to share their pattern with you. I am not telling you how to make the pattern. That is not my job, that's your job, is to go download or buy their pattern and make it for yourself and see how it is. I am just here to share the good news with you of these magical frog patterns, hence why it is a magical maker roundup and not a tutorial video. That is my disclaimer. Also, one more disclaimer, the order of these patterns are purely just alphabetical. I am not here to rate them. They are all wonderful, they are all really fun to work up and they all get rave reviews from makers. So know that I'm literally just going by alphabetical order to give you the seven that I have found. Uh, the first one today is going to be All From Jade. Jade of All From Jade. She has a, an incredibly cute chubby frog pattern. So things you should know about this pattern. It is an easy level pattern. All right. Very, very simple. It is no so. We love that in the amigurumi, especially the market prep uh, grouping of our crochet industry. People that do lots of markets, they want something that's quick that they can just like fire out. I'm pretty sure you could probably grab a bunch of these. I know that one skein of this can make at least, one skein of yarn can make at least five of these in one go, if not more, depending on the, the weight of yarn. I think the thinner the yarn, the more you can make. This is available on Etsy and it's available on Ravelry. It is a paid pattern, but it's super affordable. This is coming into you at $3.05 on Etsy and then $2.92 on Ravelry. This comes in jumbo, chunky, and pocket size. So three different sizes for this pattern, which I think is awesome, great steal. She does, do automatic discounts on the debut of her pattern. So she'll run discounts in her shops when she releases new patterns. So um, absolutely, please follow her on Instagram and all of these designers and makers, I have all of their socials listed in the description below and where to find their patterns. So please, 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 please go ahead and give her a little bit of a thumbs up here on her socials. Um, she's incredible, she has tons of great patterns. Another thing that she does actually make, and I'm gonna share it here because it's also another frog pattern. A couple of these designers actually have um, a couple of frog patterns, if not three actually, one of them has three. Um, and I do wanna share this with you here as well, but the chubby frog pattern was just so, so squishy and compact and unique. I just had to share that one first. She also has in her pattern shops, Jeremy and Jenny the frog. Look at this cute little couple, they're so sweet. Her other frog pattern is available on her Etsy stores, I believe going for $5.21 on Etsy and $4.58 on Ravelry. So there we have it. We have the chubby frog pattern and Jeremy and Jenny the frog from All From Jade, both really cute patterns. What a great way to start this roundup, huh? Okay, the next pattern in this Magical Maker Roundup comes from a designer that I have been personally following for a very, very long time because they have some of the most imaginative designs that I honestly have ever seen. It is Stephanie of Crochet Verse. If you've heard of her, you probably have seen some of her really fun reels where she shares a bunch of like different unique makes. She makes a lot of like, she's known for like these cool crochet hoods and things like that, um, but she has a frog pattern and it is a frog baby. Now, this is a very unique, unique and very detailed pattern. Um, she told me that she wanted to let you guys know it has two outfit add-ons. You have the artist outfit that comes with like a satchel and like a little, um, like, you know, some stuff. And then she also has with it overalls and a hat. 
so there's a couple different outfit options for this one of the things that got me so hard about this and I think it's because like I have a I have a thing for like fun details um, it's actually like got a little like bit of like cheeky action on the back it's got a little butt <laughs> I love that I think it's so cute this thing is very intricate I will say I you know I believe uh, she didn't list the difficulty on the pattern on when I looked up uh, the different details online but I would probably recommend this would be intermediate to advanced if not I would say probably advanced just looking at the construction of this you can see that this has some pretty detailed work going into it like I said she's very intricate she did list that it's kind of been meant to hold to be held like a baby um, she does include instructions on how to make it weighted which I think is really valuable I've always been curious about that so uh, after this roundup I probably might get a couple of these patterns and this might be one of them um, she actually also includes instructions on how to make your own cabochon eye which is basically like a different type of like frog eye so I think that's a really valuable part of the instruction so the frog baby pattern is available on Etsy and Ravelry it's eight dollars on Etsy 750 on Ravelry. I will say she also put in here that you get different toe options for the frog, which I think is really cool. So you get like the bubbly toes or you get like the webbed toes, you know, the webbing in the between the toes. You also get instructions on how to make a lily pad blanket, which is really nice. Water lily to decorate the blanket with fly snacks I think in some of the pictures she has like the frog eating some flies which I think is so cute um, and then other accessories I think this this thing is like so jam-packed with a lot of information it's such a different look in fact in my opinion I think the frog has like the most like shaping to it so I would be interested has anyone ever worked up this frog pattern and if not cool let me know would you want to work this up um, any of these patterns I list please tell me below hey I cannot wait to make this pattern. Hey, I've made this pattern before. I'm curious because right now I have only ever made my own frog pattern. After making that pattern, I was like, I have to see what else is out there because frogs are cute. Frogs are really cute. And now I have all this green yarn left over from my pattern that I gotta use it somehow, so. Alrighty, number three of our Magical Maker Roundup, we are coming to Amy of Curious Papaya. This is a very popular maker designer. She has incredible patterns out there, and one of her patterns is the giant frog pattern. Now this is a part of her Giant Pillow Plushies collection, which is what she told me is an ongoing project, so she's going to continuously add to it. But I love this guy. Oh my God, can you imagine working this up and then Netflixing and chilling like right on the back of it, just like leaning back and just relaxing into this? I cannot imagine. This would be such a comfortable frog to lay on, um, especially for a kid's room. How fun would this be if you had this in a room? Oh, so fun. Um, this does use jumbo yarn. I will say that it's a jumbo chenille yarn um, it calls for a felt mouth um, but I'm sure that you could probably sew your own mouth on if you're not familiar with how those work but there are tons of Etsy sellers and tons of other makers out there that make felt eyes and mouths and other pieces for a mega Rooney um, project so if you are into that please leave your favorite felt eye mouth maker down below please because we would all like to know that uh, especially me, hint hint. This project also is available on Etsy and Ribbler. It's $6.49 on Etsy, $5.99 on Ribbler. Very, very nice um, pricing on that. Amy actually partnered with Michaels for this pattern. I think it's the Sweet Snuggles yarn, um, which is a jumbo yarn. If you wanna get her pattern and you want a discount on it, um, joining her email list will get you a little like discount um, once you sign up to be on her email list. So you can totally use that in her shop and use that on a bunch of patterns. She has great stuff. And one thing I do love about Amy is that she shares her knowledge with you as an amigurumi artist she shares the little tips and tricks on how to work up some of her patterns and just amigurumi tips and tricks in general on her instagram on her reel so check her profile out if you're looking for some good tips all right the next maker in our magical maker roundup for our frog patterns is ina of ina chi hm on instagram Obviously I put her handle here. I would not know how to say that. I found her through a, a Instagram search. I actually searched frog patterns because um, some things were suggested to me and then some I just sought out. This is one of them that I sought out and I was 
so thrilled to find her account. Beautiful work. I think I've seen her stuff in, in passing in the past and her pattern is ready to frog. Look at this little guy. I would say she actually probably has for me like the most perfectly cute nursery aesthetic. Is that a phrase? Can I make that up? Because she also has um, a frog lovey pattern um, and a frog baby rattle pattern that I'll put up here uh, for you to see. Um, her regular pattern is $7 on Etsy and Ravelry and in her own Shopify store. The lovey pattern is $5.90 and then the baby rattle pattern is $4. This pattern is going to be, she quotes it to be um, beginner to intermediate as she describes it in her pattern stories. I would probably not call this a beginner pattern. I'm sure she has tons of pictures that would help. I think if I were a beginner, I would not probably go for this pattern because it looks very intricate. And also this pattern uses fine weight yarn. So this pattern uses very thin yarn, which I know about you, but when I was a beginner, Using anything less than a worsted weight yarn was really difficult for my hands. Her, her patterns use a fine weight yarn, which I actually think is really unique, to be honest with you, because I feel like most patterns these days that I see come out are using worsted weight or higher when it comes to Migurumi. I think it's just for the sheer size of it to make it squishable or whatnot, but I really love her aesthetic. It is very, very touchable. They really do have the appearance of these toys that will live on through the generations. It's very timeless looking. These would be very impressive to bring to a baby shower if you did like maybe a lovey rattle combo or maybe just like the frog with maybe like a little blanket to go with it. I don't know. It would be super cute. Her patterns also come in English, French, and Spanish. So if you speak any of those three languages or you want to brush up on those, you know, her patterns will definitely help you out. The Freddy the Frog pattern does come with overalls and a shirt. Um, it would look so cute without the overalls. It would look cute, um, just all green, like whatever you want. So number five in our magical maker roundup for the frog patterns, we have Julie of Kawaii Cuddle Bug and her Flipsy the Froggy pattern. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie. Out of all the patterns that I've been looking up, this is probably one that I will be making. Read her quote, she says, I love how dangling and flipsy, get it, flipsy, the arms and legs are. It's satisfying to swirl her back and forth. I agree, I agree, I wanna do the same thing. It almost gives me like the vibe of, remember those like old toys that our grandparents used to give us for Christmas? It was like a drum and you like went like that between your hands with it and it would like flip back and forth and the little like um, balls attached to the strings would like hit the drum on either side. Remember those toys? I don't know, maybe I'm old. I was born in 89, um, but um, those toys are so fun. That's what this little frog reminds me of. So like her describing how it, it, it's satisfying to swirl her back and forth, I can totally see that. Um, she uses parfait chunky yarn in this, um, it's a chenille yarn. She says it's beginner friendly and easy level. I think I would agree. Looking at this pattern, I feel like this pattern is definitely beginner friendly, definitely an easy level pattern. It doesn't look like there's too many complicated shaping in there. I'm sure there's some sewing um, in there as well. She didn't say that it wasn't no sew, so I'm just gonna assume that it is a sewing, a little bit of sewing on this pattern. It doesn't look like it would be difficult though. Uh, she has described this to be um, available to work up in any yarn. So when I went on her Instagram, I saw that she had this worked up in more super weight yarn, all the way up to like, or like fine weight yarn, all the way up to like super jumbo yarn. So I think that this is another one of those really great crochet boosting patterns because you can use anything in your stash to make it. You'd probably use it in any color too. Would work really well with it. She also has designed, bonus pattern here, she also has designed a mushroom frog rate crochet pattern. Um, it is beginner friendly as well and it has a lot of customizing options it's like a four-in-one pattern which I think is incredible uh, for the value that you're gonna get um, I believe that is $3.99 on Etsy flipsy the froggy pattern is only 50 cents on Etsy and that's just because that it has to cost something to be able to uh, actually be available on Etsy but it's free on her Ravelry and her Rippler. So if you're looking for a free frog pattern that will boost your crojo, that will make you excited to work up stuff in green yarn, Flipsy the Frog is your go-to. This is the, I think in my roundup today, this is my only free frog pattern that I have listed here. That concludes my thoughts for Flipsy the Froggy. Very cute, very cute. 
Coming in at number six in my Magical Maker Roundup today, we have Jadrian. I hope I said that right. Jadrian of Not Jaded Co. Now, if you have been in the market prep game, if you have been in the I make amigurumis for my markets type of genre for your business, you know all about the leggy froggy. The leggy froggy is very popular. Honestly, I heard of the leggy froggy name before I even heard of the person that designed it. Um, it wasn't until I reached out to her that I actually got to talk to her. She's so sweet, super kind, super nice. Her pattern is so incredibly simple. Um, it is perfect for markets because there's no increasing, there's no decreasing. You are just making a frog body and some legs and it is very effective. People love this pattern. This leggy frog pattern sells out everywhere. I'm telling you like it is one of the best market patterns that I've seen. She calls for a super bulky weight plus yarn or a worsted weight yarn. You can use either. She also has designed the baby leggy frog pattern, which is great. Um, and both of these patterns are $3.50. You can find them on her Etsy and her Ravelry. Very sweet. Um, but yeah, no sew pattern, okay? No sew, no increase, no decrease. Very nice, use your plush yarn. Um, I would assume that each frog doesn't really use a lot of yarn, so you could probably get tons of frogs out of one skein, which again, makes it perfect for markets. You could get a discount for buying multiples of her patterns on her Etsy store. So that the details on how to do that are in her um, Etsy store's um, listings description. If you go to her Etsy store and click on the leggy frog pattern and go to her item description, she does give you how to receive a discount on her patterns, but you do have to buy more than one pattern to be able to get that discount. But that is available to you. It is also part of a froggy bundle on Etsy as well. So if you want to get the baby leggy frog pattern and the regular leggy frog pattern, you can do so in one bundle. It's $5.50 only on her Etsy, and I think that you will not be disappointed in that. Tell me down below again, have you made up her leggy frogs? Because they're super, super popular. J. Jaren did a great job with these, so that is my number six. Alrighty, and last but not least in today's Magical Maker Roundup, coming in at number seven in no particular order, did not save the best for last, she's just another Magical Maker here, we have Madeline of Madeline May Co. And we have with us her mini belly froggy. So cute. Another really squishable, squishable one. I can imagine this frog being a very huggable frog because of the sheer ability to just wrap your arms around it and hug it like a teddy bear. This, I did talk to her. She said that it actually wasn't supposed to be a frog originally. Um, it was supposed to be an alligator. I, I can't even like imagine this being an alligator, um, but she said she just went with what she was feeling and he turned into a frog. So I love that it turned into a frog because look how cute it turned out to be. This pattern is super cute. It's easy level pattern. It's only available on Etsy. So you can only find her patterns on Etsy, but the, again, a great deal, 275 for her patterns. I think it's an excellent deal. This is also included in a belly bundle that has 19 patterns in it. Pattern bundle is only $8. Oh my God, it like hurts me. It's such a good deal. $8 for this. Um, you get the mini belly patterns and the big belly patterns. It's mostly no sew. Um, the eyes do have to be sewn on. So what? pun intended, so what? Just to sew the eyes on. She does um, prefer chenille um, chunky yarn in this type of pattern, but I'm sure you can work it up. I've seen, actually, this is one of the patterns where I saw a lot of people posting on Etsy, um, the, the makers that bought the pattern, I saw a lot of them post um, examples of what this looks like um, when it's worked up in other yarns. And that's something I will say to you, if you're a maker and you're like, oh my God, I do wanna try some of these out, but I'm not sure, like, what it would look like if I use a different yarn other than specified by the maker, um, by the designer, I would say to you, I would challenge you, go on Etsy and look through the reviews of these specific patterns because um, especially this one and the leggy frog, leggy froggy pattern, um, there's tons of makers that tag and put their photos of the actual finished product in their review so you're able to see what they thought of the pattern and you're able to see it worked up in different yarns which i think is super valuable um, for me as a maker um, i 
always go off book when it comes to suggested yarns I never use. It's rare when I actually use the yarns that are suggested um, just because what I like to use what I what I have and I like to see, um, I like to play. I like to do a little bit of playing. All right, Magical Makers, that concludes the second episode of the Magical Maker Roundup where I gave you seven awesome frog patterns that you absolutely need to try. If you have tried them already or if there's one that you are dying to try now, please leave me a comment down below. Um, I'm gonna grab some of my leftover green yarn for making my Jock the Frog pattern and I'm definitely going to dive into some of these patterns myself. On that note, have a creative day adding magic to your stitches in your own way and I will see you in the next video. Rip it, rip it, bye bye. Count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. I don't know. Back up. <laughs> I cannot say these names. Outro again. <clears throat> Maybe just a little like I was fumbling. Oh my gosh, this this is embarrassing. Do these snuggles? And maybe it's just me because I'm a little stupid. Oh my god, leggy, what? Magical maker. <laughs> How many do I give you? Oh my gosh. Where are you